New at 530, there's a lot of hype surrounding digital assets right now, from cryptocurrency to NFTs. There's been such a boom that many people are drawing comparisons to a bubble that happened 25 years ago, the Beanie Baby bubble. You've probably heard a lot about NFTs, or non-fungible tokens. They're basically a way for people to claim digital ownership of things like art, photos, and videos. For example, someone bought the very first tweet ever posted on Twitter for a whopping $2.9 million. It's authenticity protected by something called a blockchain. There is a lot of applications for blockchain to connect everyone from around the world. If you're scratching your head about blockchain and NFTs, you aren't alone. In fact, some people are comparing the crypto craze to another phenomenon that happened back in the mid to late 90s. Yeah, I've waited as long as four hours. It's fun. Sometimes we have to get up at four o'clock in the morning, though. All for a line of stuffed toys known as Beanie Babies. People went crazy over them, waiting in lines, spending thousands and thousands on them on the secondary market. Many collectors were convinced that these plush little animals would help fund their retirement. It appears that the teeny beanie baby craze is not going to go away. Things really took off when the company started retiring animals. The scarcity marketing created a frenzy in the market, driving up the value of every new beanie baby release before everything came crashing down in 1999. It's this meteoric rise in beanie hype that has people making comparisons to NFTs today. There's scarcity, a shared community of collectors, and there's undoubtedly some novelty. Why would anyone spend $3 million on a tweet that you can just save a screenshot of? It seems just as silly as paying thousands of dollars for a stuffed toy. Now, if there is a difference, NFTs are really less about the object. In this case, take that first tweet, for example and more about the certificate of ownership the buyer can claim.